In part three of our forward roll class, we're gonna discuss gravity and weight distribution and how those two factors play a huge part in determining how well we can roll. So you get to look at a just beautiful drawing by yours truly of a really good forward roll position and a pretty poor forward roll position. Okay, so we'll get in depth with each of those so you know exactly how to forward roll again, okay? Kind of reliving those mechanics, the step-by-steps we just talked about. And now we're gonna talk about why in the world that step where our hands were near our feet, our booty was up in the air is so important because gravity is super important. So the goal with talking about gravity and weight distribution is to make sure you understand how they work, how they play a part, so that we can start you in a position that encourages a safe and controlled roll. That's really the whole goal, the umbrella goal of this whole class, just giving you the information and the knowledge so that you know how to roll, but more importantly, why you should be rolling with specific techniques to keep yourself as safe as possible, okay? So first of all, let's take a look at the good forward roll position. So we talked about this again in part two of the class when we went over the mechanics of the movement. So as you can see, we're going from, left, uh, from right to left here with my drawings, okay? So in this drawing, he has a smiley face, so he's happy. Your hips are over your lever point, okay? So let's talk about that for a second. What the heck is your lever point? Your hands. Your hands are considered your lever point in this forward roll because a lever point or your hands is the point that's in contact with the ground that we are trying to pass. We are trying to roll over, okay? That brings us to kind of our second definition of the day, which is our center of gravity. So our center of gravity is our hips, our booty, and you know the upper leg it's because this is the heaviest part on 99 percent of athletes bodies 99 percent of people's bodies center of gravity meaning uh, the most mass the heaviest mass and guess what physics says that where mass goes center of gravity goes the rest of your body will follow. So we need to make sure that at all times we are aware of where our center of gravity is in relation to our lever point, the point on the floor that we're trying to pass, right? Which means we want our center of gravity traveling forward in order to forward roll. So that brings us to our actual position that I told you was super important. It's this step where my feet are hip width apart. I squat down, hips up, and I walk my feet in right here. This is the step that we're talking about that is so important, okay? So what you've just seen happen when I squatted down, I lift my hips up in the air. As you can see, my lever point, the point I'm trying to uh, move past is way up here. My hands are way up here in relation to my center of gravity, which is way back here, right? Okay, so I need to walk my feet up so that I walk my center of gravity forward, getting it as close to that lever point as possible so that gravity can do what gravity does best and help me tip over. Super simple, super easy, no power involved, right? So the goal with this position is literally to get your hips and your booty, the heaviest part of your body, over your hands as much as possible so that this roll turns into a very simple tip over. Now let's look at its counterpart, okay? Let's look at bad positions that aren't going to allow you to roll as simply or as smoothly. So as you can see from the red drawings here, okay? Remember we're going right to left. If you start with your hips backwards, so let's say pretend I'm not walking my feet in towards my hands. My center of gravity is back here. My lever point is up here, right? That's a big distance that we're trying to move in order to move past, move forward of our lever point. So if we skip the step of moving our center of gravity forward, guess what? You're gonna tuck your head in 
trying to roll, bending your elbows, but gravity's not gonna let you go forward because the heaviest part of your body is so far backwards, right? So if your hips, your booty, your center of gravity start too far backwards, gravity will stop you from rolling forward, okay? And that brings us to our second point. A lot of athletes get set up in this position, realize that they can't roll forward simply using gravity to their advantage, which means they want to or feel inclined to jump and to create power to be able to roll forward, okay? Well, with almost all gymnastic skills, you can do them slowly, strictly, which will keep you more safe, which is much better for beginners or those learning these new skills. Because when we involve power and momentum and speed, things become more dangerous for athletes because they're just harder to control. So we're trying to break this skill down, make it as slow, straight, simple as possible. And later on, when you feel confident and comfortable, that's when we'll add the speed, the power, the momentum back in. But if we have an athlete who doesn't understand the concept of center of gravity in relation to their lever point, and they add power, that's just a recipe for disaster. No, it's just not gonna end up well, okay? So you definitely do not wanna skip this step of trying to jump yourself forward, not gonna work. Walk those hands forward, tuck the chin. Slow, strict, smooth, melt into the floor, okay? Be like the green guy, don't be like the red guy. Focus on your hips, your booty, your center of gravity, where it is in relation to your lever point, and you're gonna have so much more success.